what a difference a year makes. To the Muslim world, we seek a new way forward based on mutual interest and mutual respect. We will extend a hand if you are willing to unclench your fist. As Iran's leaders continue to ignore their obligations, there should be no doubt they too will face growing consequences. That is a promise. This is the first consequence. America giving Iran's neighbors these Patriot missile defense systems. With diplomacy not succeeding with Iran, Barack Obama is upping the ante. I think it's raising the temperature because what we're seeing is at the same time not only a deployment of ballistic missile defense systems, but also talk of uh, tougher sanctions being imposed on Iran. The U.S. is thought to be sending Patriot defensive missiles to four Gulf countries, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain and Kuwait. Each will be given two Patriot batteries to defend against Iranian missile attack. American allies Saudi Arabia and Israel already have Patriots. A number of U.S. ships will also be deployed in the Gulf with advanced missile defense systems against the Iranian threat. This is what America and its Gulf allies want neutralized, Iran's formidable arsenal of ballistic missiles. But this is also a message to America's closest ally in the region. Israel's had Patriot missiles for years around its key installations and air bases. Inside these bases, Israel is training, preparing for a possible airstrike on Iran to stop it acquiring the bomb. America's latest move is partly to reassure Israel and calm its fears. But despite the news, today another warning from the Israeli government and a call for more to be done. Once the international uh, community shows a uh, unity of purpose, a unity of action, I believe Iran will back down in a, uh, in a heartbeat. Israel claims Iran has less than a year left before acquiring the bomb. And says it'll keep all options open to stop that happening. Dominic Waghorn, Sky News, Jerusalem.